Well, as demand for renewable technology soars, there's a rapidly growing need for the materials acquired, required, I should say, to make green tech work. And that's where Cobalt Metals steps in. Backed by the likes of Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, the startup uses artificial intelligence to hunt down precious minerals. Today, it announced it is teaming up with the world's biggest miner, BHP, for a joint exploration effort. For more on this new partnership, I'm joined by the co-founder, CFO and CTO of Cobalt Metals, Josh Goldman. Josh, great to have you on the show. Look, as I was reading this, this Josh, I was struck by the line using artificial intelligence. Explain to our viewers just exactly how this would work. Thanks, it's great to be here, Isa. As you said, to prevent climate change, we have to manufacture billions of electric vehicles by mid-century, and they all need big batteries. And to make those batteries, as you say, we need lithium, we need cobalt, we need nickel, we need copper, and we need a lot, more than $10 trillion worth of them. The reason we're here is because nobody knows where those materials are going to come from. We have to find more. This is a really hard problem. All of the places on the earth where those minerals are at the surface, where you can see them with your eyes, someone has already found them and already dug them up. And the new sources that we need for electric vehicles, they're deeper underground. And so we need better technology to see through the rocks and find them. So Cobalt is using artificial intelligence to use all the data that we collect from the ground, from satellites, from aircraft, from boreholes, to predict where under the ground these minerals are hidden all over the world. And today we're excited to announce our alliance with BHP, the largest mining company in the world, which has more than a hundred years of data. And our machine learning technology uses that data to get new insights to accelerate our search for these critical materials for the clean energy future. And Josh, as you are talking, I am seeing a, a helicopter uh, I, I don't know exactly what's hanging off, but imagine it's taking images, snapshots of the Earth. When you look, in terms of the exploration depth here, are, what are we talking about uh, and what discovery zones will you be looking at? The helicopter is probing what's underneath the surface. It's transmitting pulses of electrical energy into the ground and listening for reflections from the rocks that are underneath the ground. We ingest that technology, we ingest that data with our technology, we use it the same day to steer the helicopter to new locations, zoom in on the places that are most, most interesting, the best places to look. And technology like this, we can probe hundreds of meters under the ground through, through the plants, through the soil, through the rock that's under that, and we can predict where there might be ore deposits hidden underneath the ground. Yeah, and I suspect, as you pointed out, as, as demand for kind of green energy as well as electric vehicles continues to surge, these minerals uh, could really be the driving force in the future as well as a drive in profits, I, I'm sure. That's, that's exactly right. And look, you know, there are the mines that we have today, they're going to produce enough, enough vehicles for the raw materials for electric vehicles made this year and next year and the year after that. But five to 10 years from now, if we haven't made new discoveries, all the growth we're seeing in electric vehicle sales year over year, that's gonna run out of juice. And mm -hmm. our best chances for preventing catastrophic warming are going to dim. But there are new sources out there, they're waiting to be discovered. And the question is, are we going to find them in time? And that's why we started this company. Our machine learning technology is designed to help us discover new sources, to find them faster and accelerate the clean energy economy. I'm glad you mentioned this, Josh, because, of course, I, I was wondering how much pressure you might be under to make this work, because, of course, you're backed by big names, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates. How worried are you that, you know, if this fails? You know, I think we're giving ourselves the best shot in the world. We've got industry-leading technology. We've got some of the best geoscientists in the world. With BHP, we have enormous historical data, everything that human, humanity has learned about the Earth. And this is going to give us the best chance. The, mater the materials are there to be found. The only question is, can we find them? And we're up for the challenge. Very, very quickly, uh, B I know this is an alliance with BHP. 
they have faced criticism, of course, for its continued interest in fossil fuels. How does that sit with you? Well, what we're looking for with BHP and what we're looking for all over the rest of the world are these critical materials for batteries, for electric vehicles and renewable energy. And BHP has announced that that's a major corporate priority for them. That's well aligned with what we're looking for. And we're using their expertise, our expertise, their data, our technology to go find new sources of these metals. These are the materials of the future. And mm. many of us companies are focused on finding them. Josh Goldman, do keep us posted uh, how you get on. Josh Goldman, the co-founder, CFO and CTO of Cobalt Metals. Thank you very much, Josh, for joining us there.